Hello everyone, you want to calculate the sample size without using any formula and without using any calculation? If yes, then you are at right place. In this video, I am going to tell you the easiest way to calculate your sample size and that to be without using any formula and without using any calculation. Yes viewers, in this video we are going to understand calculation or determination of the sample size using Craigie and Morgan table. Craigie and Morgan in 1970 come up with a one table for determining the sample size for a given population for easy references. Now let us understand how to use this Craigie and Morgan table for calculation of the sample size. As we all are aware that the sample size is the representative of your population. Look at the figure. Your population is the big set, all the things under your study and out of that you are going to select a representative sample now let us take one example, if our population is 1000, then how to calculate the sample size for this 1000 population. Now in this crazy and more table, your population is denoted by n. Now look at the screen here, n is equal to 1000. Now we want to calculate the sample size. Now look at the table. In this table, there are two main columns. First column is n, this column, and second column is s, means this column. Now here n capital N is representing your population and small s is representing the sample. Now according to our previous example we want to find out the sample when your population is 1000. Means in this n column we want to find out the 1000. Now look at the first column this n is started with the 10 but our population is 1000 means our population is here. Now if your population n capital N is equal to 1000 then at that time your sample is equal to 278 means suppose if my population is 1000 now according to this crazy on morgan table the sample size is 278 here we can see that without using any formula we have calculated the sample size now take another example suppose if my population is 4000 then at that time my sample is equal to when capital n is 4000 then my sample is equal to 351 Suppose if my population is 8000, here is 8000, then my sample is equal to 367. Now here this all the calculations are without using any formula or without using any calculation. Now here according to this table, the largest figure is 10 lakh. Now suppose if your population is 10 lakh, now at that time your sample is 384. Now suppose if your population is more than 10 lakh, then at that time as per this table, you have to consider the sample size is 384. Here I want to mention one very important point. According to some PhD guide, according to some research mentor, when you are using the Craigie and Morgan table, you have to add 20% extra sample along with the sample determined by Morgan table. Now it's depend upon you whether you have to go with the exact sample size of the Morgan table or you should go the sample size by adding 20% extra sample along with the sample determined by Morgan table. For this purpose, you can talk with your research mentor, you can talk with your PhD guide. Now there are many students, they will ask the question how this table is designed. Now Craig and Morgan is designed this table with the help of this formula. Now this slide is for your references. I am not here. I am not expecting you should do any calculation for finding out the sample size. Now here again, I would like to show you one demonstration. Now look at this slide. Now on this slide, uh, I have mentioned the formula along with one example. Craigie and Morgan formula, formula is there and uh, this formula is solved with the help of some example where capital N is equal to 20,000 means your population, chi square is 3.84, P is 0.5 and E is equal to 0 0.05. If you put all this figure for calculating the sample size that is small n, then your answer is 376. Now here we will cross check this answer with the Morgan table. Now our question is suppose if your population is 20,000 now at that time what is the result from the Morgan table. Now through the formula our result is 376. Now we will check this condition with the Morgan table. Now look at the crazy and Morgan table. Now according to our example suppose if the population is 20,000 means here at that time your sample size according to table is 377. Now in this formula the same result is reflecting 376.88 means it is approximately equal to 377. Means here we can conclude that whatever shown in the table, Craigie and Morgan table, same things are reflecting from the sample size. Therefore here I would like to mention one very important point. Without using formula, without using any calculation, 
directly you can refer the Morgan table. So here at the end of the video, I would like to tell you without calculation, without using formula, with the help of the Craig and Morgan table, you can easily determine the sample size.